Now, in the last lesson, we discussed this thing over here, the directional control valve. I got to make the DCV smaller, like so. I also got to add on two more sections. One here, the straight through section, and one here, the cross connect section. They're all going to have two parts on the other side, labeled A and B. These are my two key players right there. And there are two jobs I need them to do. When they got to do job number one, it shifts to section number one. These ports and hoses auto connect. When they got to do job number three, it shifts to section three. And these ports and hoses auto connect. Okay. So what job does section number one do? Oops, what job does position number one do? That's what they call it, position number one. Well, what does he do? To make that clear, we got to bring in the next component. So let's get some room. And the next component is a cylinder. That guy here. With a type of plunger inside of him. You've seen the plungers in bathrooms. This is a type of plunger, only the we call it a rod. And it's got two ports. A port for the cap or head area over here. And another one for the rod area. Now this device has a name. It's called the double acting cylinder. Now back we go to position number one. Position number one connects port P to port A, and port A to the cap port. Fluid will be drawn from the reservoir through port P, and then port A, and then through the connection into the cap port. The cap fills with fluid, and under pressure, it pushes the plunger, the rod, to the right further and further. Meanwhile, the liquid on the rod side is under pressure and exits out the rod port, this guy here, that's connected to port B over here. Port B is connected to port T and port T connects to the reservoir back down here. We have now seen how the system pushes the rod to the right. And in the next lesson, we'll see how the system pushes the rod back to the left.